What's up, what's up, Fire TV Guru World? It's your boy Scott coming at you from Oklahoma. Yo, 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 check this out, all right, guys? There's been a lot of changes, right? Just a lot of changes. Anyways, uh, everything is kind of, the dust is kind of settling down with the Fire TV Guru clan. Things are moving ahead, moving along and all that stuff, guys. So what I wanted to do is shoot a video that's going to be ongoing on how to install um, the Fire TV Guru Fire MC 17.3 and um the fire the the fire tv guru build all right guys cool so guys what i've done on this box right here is i've opened it up i've logged into my account right and i've logged into my wi-fi show you guys we're going to scroll over here to settings all right check it out all right applications and we're going down here to manage i've got no other applications on here except for what came from the factory right all right cool so guys what i want to do is i'm going to start from the very beginning right here everybody should be on this screen right here and i do apologize about my screen my wife got me a bigger tv so of course you know my camera just doesn't really want to touch it um can't get far back enough all right cool guys so we're going to start on this screen right here right we're going to scroll all the way over here to settings all right we're going to scroll down we're going to go over here to applications first thing we need to do is go to applications let's go ahead and click on that you see that collect app usage data now guys I don't like to share all my information with anybody, including Amazon. So I'm just going to go ahead and tick on that right there, and I'm going to click turn off. I just want to turn it off. You don't have to. I do. All right? Cool. So we're going to back up, right? Now, just another thing. All right? We're going to go over here to displays and sounds. All right, guys? Right here on screensaver. I don't like it to where this pops up right here. I hate that, all right? Um, if I'm mid-video and this pops up, it stops my video and it goes to this video here. So what I want to do, guys, is I want to go down here, right? And I'm going to go down here to the time or the start time. And I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click down here to never, right? I don't ever want this, this screensaver to pop up. Now, you guys may want it. I don't. Because what happens is, like I said, if I'm watching a video and I hit the pause button and five minutes later I come back, screensaver's on, the video stops, all right? All right, cool. So, guys, I'm going to hit the back button, right? I'm going to back that thing up and I'm going to come right back to the screen here. Next thing we need to do guys is we need to go over here to device. We need to click on device. All right, we're going to scroll down one time. We're going to click on developer options. All right, we're going to scroll down one time to apps from unknown sources and you want to turn it on. All right, we're going to click on that and then we're going to click turn on. So it should look just like that right there. Cool. That's all said and done guys. Everybody hit the home button. Check it out. You're right back to where you started, right? Cool. All right, so we're going to hit over to the left one time, all right, and then you're going to type in this. And you see right there, guys, where I've typed in downloader, right? You're going to type in downloader. Cool, so I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to highlight that downloader where I typed it in. We're going to click on it, and then we're going to scroll down one time. You see right there that orange icon that says downloader? We want to click on that. All right. Now mine's going to say that I own it and ask me to download it. Yours may not, you may not own it, you may own it, all right, guys, so... If you do own it, just, just install it, all right? But if you don't, it says get. And if you're getting any kind of errors pop up, all right, it's going to be on your Amazon account. So go to Amazon.com, all right, and then fix your zip code or your credit card number or, or the expiry date on your credit card or, or the CVC number on the back of your card. It's going to be something funky like that. All right, guys, pause the video. If you got to fix it, I'm going to keep moving forward. So I'm going to click right there where it says get or download, all right? And we're going to queue it up here. Cool, so once it says once it's done downloading, guys, you're gonna get this little icon right here on the side and it's gonna say it's ready to download or open, blah blah blah. Alright, I'm I'm more worried what this is gonna say right here. Alright, so I'm gonna click on that right there where it says open. Then you're gonna get this Java letter, right? Just go ahead and give it a read and click on OK. Now you see the address bar right here, guys. This is where we need to go ahead and click inside. Now we're gonna type in exactly this. All right, once you get it in there, guys, it's gonna be http colon forward slash forward slash fire tv guru dot info forward slash forks with an s you got to make sure you get forks in there all right guys so what that's going to do is going to go ahead and go ahead and type it in there hit your pause button if you got to i'm going to move forward all right we're going to click on go right there in the bottom all right and we're going to click on okay for the java letter all right now you guys see the the, the ready-made fire mc forks that are here right all three of them you've got the my Giga, which is for um android 4.4 or lower You've got the 64 for shield boxes, you know, I'd say probably, I'd say probably a, a Amazon Fire TV box will work on that. Um, let's see here, you've got the SPMC and you've got the Kodi 17.3, right? Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to download Kodi 17.3 onto this box right here, right? So I'm going to click on it, now you're going to notice something. It's going to sit here and it's going to say connecting. 
I don't know what's happening on this. I'm going to dig into it a little bit, but right now, when you click on it, it's going to say connecting. Just let it do its thing. Check it out. Watch. This is like magic. I don't know what the heck the deal is, all right? Because it does the same thing on Fire DL either. So if you know, reach out to me. Let me know what I can change on my uh, on, on, on my uh, on my website. Fix that. Now you see, guys, it, it said connecting, right? And then it just went straight to this. Cool. So we're gonna scroll down, right? We're gonna go to the very bottom here. We're gonna click on install. Again, if you guys are any you know internet gurus, holler at me. Let me know what what it is. I'm sure it's just some kind of a stupid setting that I need to fix. All right, cool. So I'm gonna click on install. Now check it out guys. We're going to click on this install right here. And we're going to start installing. All right, give it just a couple seconds, it'll install. Cool, you're going to see this right here, it's going to pop up and it's going to say, "Hey, I just installed you blah blah blah," right? Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit open, right? So I'm going to click on open. So you get the Fire TV Guru splash screen. That means we've done something good, right? Now you have the Fire TV Guru uh, the, 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 the fire MC right there. Now guys, give this little message here a read around. I do put important information in here. The team, you know, puts important information. Give it a, give it a little bit of read right there. And you see on the very bottom right there, definitely going to start keeping the current main builds and the current light builds in there. So that way everybody knows, Hey, this is the builds that are available. All right. Now guys, another thing that I do want to point out, if we at fire TV guru never, ever, ever, ever expect anyone to ever have to pay a dime. All right. We do this for free. We do it for fun. It's a hobby, all right? But if you're selling the build, guys, keep in mind, all right, servers do cost a, a boatload of money, right? Anyway, so if you're selling the build, you may get challenged in the group. Hey, have you made a donation? You know, donate towards the server cost. You're making money with it. Why not pay, why not pay for your portion of it and get that taken care of? All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and move forward. Again, our, our Facebook group, if it ever changes, it'll be inside here. You're not going to get any better support than inside that Facebook group that you're going to see right there in big little letter, letters there. All right, guys, we don't have any other groups anywhere else but that group right there. You've got 20 of the top admin inside that group right there. All right, cool. So we're going to go ahead and click on dismiss, right? We're going to click dismiss. And then, guys, if you want to go ahead and save some of this stuff, you guys can. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on the clear cache on startup, the clear packages on startup, and the clear thumbnails on startup. And I'm going to click on continue. And then you're going to notice the build menu pop up, right? So we're going to click on the build, or it's going to say build menu. We're going to click it. And then we're going to click OK for first run help. You don't need it. You got me. All right, cool. So, guys, here we are, right? Now, you've got your main build. You've got your light builds. You get your kid build, all right, and then you got your adult builds, all right. Depends on your you pick your flavor. You you pick out what you want, all right. But one thing that I will point out, all right, if you're on Krypton, make sure you're using something in the Krypton builds there, all right. If you install, if you go down, right, and you install this Jarvis build on your Krypton, you're gonna get a black screen of death, all right, and you're gonna cause all kinds of issues, this and that. So keep in mind, if you're on Jarvis, use Jarvis build, right. Simple. If you're on Krypton, you're going to use what build? That's right, Krypton. Now, guys, say that you guys want to get in here, right? And you want to see what's up with the build. You want to know all about it. So let's click on one of the servers there, right? Now, you want to know what's changed or what the build's about. You can click right here in video preview, right? If you're not decided if you want the light build or the big build, right? So you got to you see it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop that right there. Anyways, guys, give that, give it a read right there, and all that stuff, and that'll show you what the build's all about, right? Same thing, all right. If you want to install the light build, it's gonna be the same thing right there, and same thing on the kids build, and same thing on the XXX build, all right. So I'm gonna move forward. Let's go ahead and install this beast, right? We didn't come all this all this far for nothing. So we're gonna click on that Fire TV build server number one, right? So we're gonna click it. And then we're going to scroll down here. We're going to click on standard install. You don't need to fresh install. Why? Because you just installed this bad boy. It is fresh. So we're going to click on standard install. All right. Now you're going to get this pop up right here. It's going to ask you, would you like to download it and install? Well, I want to say, heck yeah, we just went through all this for nothing if we didn't. All right. So we're going to scroll over here to the left. We're going to click on yes, install. All right. And you're going to see this pop up. It's going to look like it's going to take 20 minutes, but you're going to see the, look at that. Look at that ETA right there. And it's just steadily decreasing. Let's go ahead and let that install. Dang, that installed quick. All right, guys, so what it did is just went installed. Now it's going to extract it onto the onto the firebox, all right? So let's again, let's let it do what it's doing, and we'll go from there. All right, cool. So this pops up right here, right? And it tells me, hey, I'm completed, all right? I've gone ahead and downloaded. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and click on force close right there. We want to force close it, right? Now you guys are going to end up right back here, all right? This and that. 
I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. I don't need it on my SD card or on my on, on this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on delete and delete, right? Cool, so I'm gonna hit that home button. Now where did it go? Oh my gosh, it's not here. Let me just kind of walk you guys through this real quick, all right? Um, let's scroll down here to your apps and games. Let's go all the way over here to the right. Click on see all, all right? And we're gonna scroll all the way down here to the very, 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 very bottom, right? And we're gonna see our Fire TV Guru right there, all right? We can go ahead and click on the three line button if you're on a Fire TV. And we wanna just simply move it to the front, right? We're gonna click move to front right there, all right? Move to front, cool. So now guys, we're gonna hit the home button. Check it out. Here it is right there on the front line, all right? But let me show you guys how to get to it if you don't wanna do that, blah, blah, blah. You're all at the home screen, right? We're gonna scroll over here to settings. We're gonna scroll down. We're gonna go over here to applications. We're gonna click on applications. Scroll down here to manage installed apps. And then we're gonna scroll down. Like I showed you guys earlier, everything was empty, right? Check it out, I got downloader and fire MC in here. This is where you're gonna access all of the uh, applications that's on your device. So we're gonna click on Fire MC. All right, and then what I always like to do after an install is click for stop and then launch application. I don't know why, it's just a habit. All right, so you see I got the Fire TV Guru splash screen, check it out. And boom, you got the build start loading up here, right? So you guys have, have this loading up. Give it just like five minutes, guys. Give it five minutes and you're gonna see things start popping up on the bottom right. You're going to see something pop up here saying that it's enabling the add-ons. Let it do its thing. Give it, I'm telling you, I, I say five minutes, but it's really probably going to be like two minutes, really, depending on your internet, all right? So give, give it five minutes. See, you see it already popping up right here. Let it do its thing. Here's your add-on I was telling you about. It's going to pop up there. Then you got it on the bottom here, telling you know, the Fire TV Wizard, all right? Give it a few minutes. Let everything update. All right, so I think it's done updating through, all right? Now you see, guys, it took a minute, right? A minute is what it took it. Anyways, you see right there, you got system, not sure. You got movies, TV shows, all-in-ones, live TV, kiddos, sports section, music, uh, miscellaneous. Let them populate there. You got your add-ons. Um, just miscellaneous add-ons there. And then you get your Fire TV Wizard. Now, guys, what I always want to tell people when you first install, all right? Click up one time. I'm sorry, twice. And then click over to the right there, to the very far right, and click on this total cleanup. All right, you're going to have packages in there that need to be cleaned up. All right, so guys, we're going to go ahead and scroll over. We're going to click on clean all, right? Click clean all. Check it out. Easy, right? Now, guys, the next thing that I want to show you guys is over here, you see advanced settings, right? This is going to automatically detect the device that you're on and set the settings to the device that needs to be set at, right? So we're going to click on advanced settings, all right? We're gonna scroll down. You don't, unless you're a professional and you want to do all kinds of math and algebra, algebra and this and that. You can adjust all that stuff. But I'm gonna tell you for the basic user, just scroll down to the bottom left and click on Write File. All right. It's gonna look like it's done nothing, but you guys will notice that it's a whole lot faster now. All right. Cool. So guys, that is it. You have the build, right? This is the best build on the planet. I'm telling you, it is. All right, guys, so cool. Now here's another another feature to the build that I want to point out to you guys because I wanted to keep the video about 15 minutes and it looks like I'm a little under. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll up and I'm going to click on Fire TV Themes, right? Say you don't like the, uh, say you don't like the backgrounds on here, right? Then you're more of a, goodness, let's, you're more of an Aurora Borellis, right? So we're gonna click on Aurora Borellis. Now guys, give this a read right here. Download new backgrounds, keep calm, It'll re they'll repopulate. So we're gonna click on proceed. All right, it's gonna install some superpowers on your device, all right? No, I'm kidding, it's really not gonna install superpowers. Now guys, give this one a read, hurry, blah, blah, blah. Press okay to force closure, media center will catch fire. I'm kidding, it's really not, grandma, I'm kidding. It's not gonna catch fire, right? So we're gonna click on okay. So what's it do? It stops us, right? So we're gonna hit force stop. Let's hit launch application. Let's see what happened. We had Bobby's, we had my man Bobby's abstracts on there before, right? Now you got your, now you got your Northern Lights. Check it out, guys. How slick is that, right? That's what's up. All right. <clears throat> uh oh, missing one there. It'll populate. Oh, okay, that's right. TV shows. That's a very, that's a very, very big one. All right, cool. So we're gonna go over here to live TV, kids. You see all the stuff popping up here, guys. That's the build. Hope you guys enjoy. 
shout out. There'll be a link in the group, all right? If you guys want to join our group, our Facebook group for support, the link's in the description of this video. Make sure you guys are subscribing, all right? Because that's where you're going to get your best information from. And if you hit that little bell that's right there after you hit the subscribe, anyways, what happens is you'll get a notification anytime that a new video has been updated. All right, y'all take it easy.